Malaya Tour is located approximately eight miles east of Kaladi, the birthplace of Sri Shankaracharya, the foremost of the Indian philosophers. It is believed that one of the twelve disciples of Jesus Christ, St. Thomas, came to India in the Common Era, 52, at the Kodungalur port during the reign of the Chera dynasty. He spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in Kerala and Tamil Nadu, India. St. Thomas was martyred in Common Era 72 at Malapur in Tamil Nadu. The Nasrani tradition believed that he established seven churches at Kodungalur, Kotakavu, Paravur, Palayur, Kokamangalam, Chirthala, Niranam, Nilakkal, and Kolam. The tradition says that St. Thomas preached the gospel of Jesus Christ and traveled from Kodungalur to Palayur and from Palayur to Melapur in Tamil Nadu. On his way back from Melapur, he reached Malayatur through some then familiar pass in the Western Ghat, which linked Kerala with the Pandian Kingdom and preached the gospel of Jesus Christ in Malayatur. However, the people of Malayatur did not accept Thomas's teachings. They mocked him, attacked him, and chased him away, throwing stones at him. A saddened St. Thomas withdrew to the hills where he spent days in prayer and fasting. The Nasrani Christians believed that the mother of Jesus appeared to the praying Thomas and asked him, Thomas, why are you sad? And Thomas replied, The people of Malayatur are hard-hearted. They do not listen to me. Mother Mary comforted him in the holy apparition, saying, You go back to them in courage. Jesus shall bestow words on your tongue. Thus St. Thomas went back to the people of Malayatur and spoke with renewed vigor. He formed a Christian community in Malayatur and lived with them for two months, during which he often went to the Kurishamudi mountain to pray. After he left them, the Christian community continued to visit the place where Mother Mary appeared to St. Thomas and prayed. The Nasrani Christians continue the practice throughout the centuries to this day. And around the year in Common Era 550 or 600, it is believed that a pack of hunters found a golden halo in the shape of a cross while resting on the rock where St. Thomas prayed. Out of their curiosity and ignorance, they put their spear into the halo and were astonished to find blood oozing out of the halo. Stupefied at the strange phenomena, they ran to the foothills and informed the Nasranis about the strange happening. The Nasranis reached the side and confirmed a golden halo in the shape of a cross, the marks of St. Thomas's feet and knees, left where he prayed. They informed the priests and other clergy of the findings, who approved building a stone cross at the site. The stone cross was letter gold covered, giving the name Ponkurisu. It was built with an inbuilt space to light a lamp permanently as a mark of prayerful reverence to the Nasrani's patron Saint St. Thomas. In the later years, it was noticed that a peculiar kind of stripped wild mountain goats began to come to the foothills, bleating in a strange tone whenever the lamp was put off. The people in the foothills scattered sesame seeds for these goats whenever they came down the hill. They were called St. Thomas goats by the Nasrani Christians of those days. However, as the forests gave way for plantations, these goats too disappeared. Still, the offering of sesame seeds continues to this day at St. Thomas Mount in Malayatur. The Feast of the Golden Cross or the Poninkurishu Muthapan is commemorated on the Sunday after Easter Sunday each year. The Nasrani Christians of today reach the Church of St. Thomas at Kurishumudi on all days for prayer, and more especially during the Easter Lent. The pilgrims often trek up the hill barefoot carrying large wooden crosses to the Kurishamudi church in acts of penance and repentance each year.